Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and I'm going to show you a fun rainbow dresser makeover. Now, I am using acrylic paint and a foam brush for the faces of the drawer fronts, and I'm going to do the faces of the drawer fronts in uh, rainbow colors. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I'm doing pastels, so I'm mixing the white acrylic paint with the primary colors of a rainbow to get the pastel colors of a rainbow. And you can see here, I've already taped off the dresser. I'm going to do seven layers, and then I'm just applying the pastel colors with a simple foam brush. I'm going to use a separate foam brush and a separate paper plate for each color. And by the way, I've already painted uh, the entire dresser in one layer of Kiehl's 3 Premium Primer. It's really important when you're using acrylic paint on wood or a piece of wood furniture to always use a primer before you apply the acrylic paint. That's a really important step you don't want to skip. So I've already applied Kiehl's 3 Premium Primer over uh, the wooden dresser fronts and now I'm applying the acrylic paint. You can see I'm just going to continue in this pattern. I'm going to start with the red and then I'm going to, the next I'm going to do orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And I'm going to continue on with this uh, with two layers of paint. So each time I apply a color, I'm going to let it dry. Acrylic paint dries really fast. So, I mean, maybe 30 minutes and I apply a second coat. Since I already have the Kiehl's primer on there, it's only going to take two coats of acrylic paint per color. And then after I get all the acrylic paint on there, and it looks good and it's dry, I am going to apply a sealer. When you're painting with acrylic paint, uh, two things are very important. You want to use a primer and then when you're done, you have to seal it. Acrylic paint generally isn't as durable as other furniture paints. It's definitely not an enamel paint, so it can't stand alone. It needs a barrier beneath and it needs a sealer on top. Now, in my blog post that I'll link in the comments, I share more details all about what primers, uh, what sealers to use. So if you want more details on that, uh, go ahead and head to my blog post that's in the comments. You can see here I'm done with painting all the colors. Now what I'm going to do is I am taking a polycrylic sealer and with a separate foam brush, I'm just applying a layer of the polyacrylic sealer. I ended up applying two coats of it. Um, over the top of the acrylic paint. And what that does is that seals it, especially since it's a dresser, you're gonna be, you know, potentially touching it, touching the faces uh, multiple times a day. I wanted to make sure uh, the acrylic paint was super durable. So this really seals that acrylic paint. And polyacrylic isn't the only option for a sealer. There's a lot of options. Once again, I'll touch on that in my blog post if you're curious. But I do love a polyacrylic, a water-based polyacrylic because uh, it doesn't yellow over time, and you'll find that sometimes the polyurethanes, especially the oil-based polyurethanes, will yellow, and that's definitely not what you want. Now I'm going to give the hardware a makeover. I'm using gold rub and buff to, to give the hardware a lighter look, and then after I put the gold rub and buff, I'm using Krylon Sea Glass just to give it kind of a greenish iridescent hue. Are y'all ready to see the finished dresser? I love the way it turned out. Um, I love the pastel colors, and more than that, my daughter loves it, which is truly what I was going for. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how to use acrylic paint on wood furniture, and also how to create a beautiful rainbow dresser makeover. Thanks for watching, guys.